What are you looking so happy about? Never mind. Go on. Tell me. I know what you'll say. James. Please back. So predictable. Are you really going on another date with him? He's introducing me to someone who matches creators with major brands. Don't be on your own with two random guys, Julia. For your information, there'll be lots of people there. It's not what he told you. It's a launch for a design app that makes cutting edge mock-ups for posts. I get to hang out and network. And what does James get? Uh, arm candy. So far, I'm getting way more out of this arrangement than he is. And you believe that, do you? He's not even my type. I just make him look cool. It's still weird. Go away, Alex. What if he pushes for more? Can't. We made an agreement. Do you know what his launch is going to be? In an isolated warehouse of a dark lane. It's not funny. You're on a site calling yourself a sugar baby. All his information is on the website. So if he does murder me, you'll know how to find him. Hey, what's up? He's being a pain. I'm out of here. What's going on with you two? No. I thought you two were getting on better. Sorted out. Victoria, I was just about to call you. Hey. Hey. Haven't seen you in a few days. Did you miss me? Do we still have that meeting with Haley later on? Why wouldn't we? I don't know. Well, Liam, I've been thinking. You have to tell her. Look, Anto's are da. I'm not gonna mess with that. I suppose Jerry agrees with you. What was it, her idea? I agree with her. She told me when Haley found out about her, it caused ructions for the whole family. Why would I put Haley through that again? You're even beginning to sound like Jerry. Hello. How are you? We said half twelve, right? Yeah. I'm glad you're back on the project. Yeah, me too. I just need to scan some stuff. I mean, is over there. Right. We made the right decision. You're supposed to give us notice. The text would be nice. Well, I did let you on know. I live here too. Well, I'm here now. Hey, Pete. Oh, yeah. To deliver the microwave, I suppose. Since it's on the inventory and we still haven't got it. There's the back door key, Sean. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Great. Thanks, Pete. We should have a spare as well. Well, you can leave that one in the back door. That way it won't get lost. We should have two keys. I'll keep the spare one at home. And I didn't lose it. It disappeared. Right. Well, be more careful then. We will. So where's the microwave? You'll get it. You've been saying that for weeks. Well, just use the oven in the meantime. It's not the same. Is there anything else, Sean? No. But Vinny is right. We do need a new microwave. Yeah, well, I'll take care of it, so don't you worry. Do you see that? He's all pally with you and he just grunts at me. Because you go straight for the throat. But that's not how you deal with Pete. It's sexist. I just want to have a good relationship with him. I pick my battles, that's all. I'm fighting with a landlord who happens to be decent enough. Isn't one of them. My dad's sponsored fast is really picking up traction. Over 300 signed up already. Wow. Good to know altruism is alive and well. Yeah, I think that might be more to do with my dad than the project. No offense, they just love men work. Good by him. Anything else? Actually, yeah, this might be something. I've been in touch with this guy, right? A venture capitalist. Troubled childhood, but made it big in business. Mr. Moneybags? Yeah, but it's a long shot. Why? Because he's tight fisted. He's got a load of charities running after him. Carol put me on to him. Have you contacted him? Hey, well, she's already on to him. Yeah, we start by showing him all the brilliant work that we do with the kids. You know, photos, data, how far they've progressed. And how much more they could achieve if he threw a lot of cash at it. What's the point in his millions if we're tripping over kids in the street? I wasn't going to put it quite like that. Which is why she's pitching, and I'm not. Sounds like you're on top of it. What did you expect? Good walk. I have to deal with this. Take it in the office, if you like. Yeah. Oh, very businesslike, huh? Me. <clears throat> Come on. 
She's your daughter. You swore you'd stop this. You know she doesn't. That's not right. I'm not going to drop a bomb into her life just because you disagree. Well, it is deceitful, but then you're a priest. Is this you not nagging? I'm just saying, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. You'd be surprised the secrets people can keep. Oh, yeah, I'd say you're the king of secrets, huh? All those confessions. Well, I'm not going to say it in case you're worried. I know that. You're very sure of yourself. I'm not, but I'm sure of you. What's that supposed to mean? You're a decent person. You wouldn't hurt Hayley. You don't know what I'm capable of. I'm a good judge of character. Well, I've already shot my mouth off to Jer, didn't I? You don't care about hurting her. Yeah, well, if you think cozying up to Jer Lynch is going to make this disappear, you're very mistaken. Can I trust you or not? You're the loose cannon. Not me. Hey. Come on, Julia. I don't want to fall out with you. Feels like it. Well, I don't, OK? What's that? It's a gift from James. It's a good brand. Yeah, well, I'm testing it out. So he's already given you expensive gifts. Didn't take long. You just said you don't want to fight with me. Oh, come on, you're not that stupid. This is my career, and it's really competitive. James can help me jump the queue. All I have to do is hang around with him at events and parties. He's giving you stuff to make you feel like you owe him, Julia. You haven't heard a word I've said. But you're the one not listening. Just leave me alone. It's also kosher. Tell Mondo. Don't be an idiot. Then I'll tell him. Don't you dare. See, you know what you're doing is risky. You better keep your big mouth shut. Why? What's the big secret if it's also innocent? You'll make it sound weird and he'll go nuts. I wonder why. It's an arrangement. I'm protected. Plus, I'm having fun. Deal with it. You're not convincing me. Fine. If you have to tell him, go ahead. I have no intention of sticking around here for much longer. In less than a year, I could buy my own apartment, or at least rent a penthouse. Did James tell you that as well? Probably in New York. You don't get to judge me. I'm not the one doing that. You are. What you're doing is wrong. Whatever way you dress it up. No, it's better this way. You talk to her, knowing she's her flesh and blood. She'll find out, then what? What's it got to do with you anyway? Nothing. You're the one worried about it. Are you just here to prove you're right and I'm the interfering busybody? I don't need your blessing. Oh, good, because I deal with reality down here on Earth. I'm heading home now. Is there anything else? You know nothing about my reality. You're deluded. It's cruel. And you're only thinking about yourself. Excuse me? Give yourself a medal for helping troubled kids. And at the same time, ignore the train that is hurtling down the track towards Hayley, by the way. You seem way too interested in my life. <laughs> I've hit a nerve. That's what's bothering you. And I'll tell you this much. Keeping Jerry Lynch on side won't last long. <laughs> Are you angry because I'm getting on with you? Oh, when she turns on you, you'll know what the fires of hell are all about. So now we're talking about you? You think you're protected because of a bit of paper that you signed with Rome, making yourself out to be some sort of saint. But when life gets messy, you can't take responsibility. I've seen it all before with you lot. You know damn all about my life. Cheating on your wife the night before your wedding? Pretending that there's no consequences. Stay out of it, Carol. Oh, I'd say Jer Lynch was poking that fire for over 30 years, huh? Is this your geek? The sad loner who judges others to make ourselves feel better? Oh, you name calling now, are you? Do I threaten you? Is that what's happening here? Oh, that'd suit you, wouldn't it? Inflate your own ego at my expense. And your parent of the year, are you? Well, I've heard plenty of rumours about you since I got here, so you don't get to stand there and point the finger at me. Get out! You can dish it out, but you can't take it. I said get out! There you are. What do you think of that? What is it? What does it look like? A poor dead animal. It's fake. For my room. Strange looking yoke. It's called a rug. To put my feet on in the morning. Are there wooden floorboards in your bedroom? Why? 
when your bare feet touch the wood in the morning, think about what it's like to wake up in a beautiful forest. Where in the Arctic Circle? That thing be full of dust mites in no time. Oh, well, dust mites need a home too. Why don't you invite a few mice in while you're at it? I suppose you'd object to a microwave as well. No. Oh. They're great. Had one in Australia. Very handy. Why are you thinking of getting one? Oh, Pete, the stingy landlord keeps saying he'll get us one. Well, that's nice. Big fat liar. It never appears. Well, how long have you been asking him? Weeks. I looked it up in the lease and he's meant to provide one. Well, then you get one give him the bill. Can I do that? Certainly you can. If it's in the lease, he's obligated. I'd say you'd be well within your rights to get one. OK, I will. Then you can make me dinner. I can't cook now, I only defrost. I'll teach you. There are all sorts you can do in a microwave. This is gas, so I'll just go and buy one then. No, why not? Will you come with me? I might, if we leave right away. I'm meeting Cass later. Oh, look at you, secret liaison with a newly married man. I am going to see a holy well in Finglas with my lovely cousin. You can come if you like. No, thanks. I'll be defrosting my lasagna. I can't believe I said that. I apologise. Please, will you open the door? No. You just... You wind me up. And stay away from me. Open the door, will you? No, I'm busy. I just wanted to say something to hurt you. I don't care enough to be hurt by you. Yeah, well, I care. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Carol, please. out of my head. Don't do that. I can hardly be in the same space as you. I think about you 20 times a day. This is insane. Look at me! You shouldn't have come here. Tell me to go. Tell me to go. Hi. Hey, Julia. Thank you. Thanks for the stabilizer. Oh, you like it? I love it. Yeah. It'll help flatten out any jitters in your videos. Yeah, I tried it. It's so much better. Yeah, they look more professional. I just need to improve my lighting. I'll see what I can do. Ready? That would be amazing. What's up? Alex, he's being so annoying. Why? I shouldn't have told him about you. He doesn't approve. He just doesn't get it. Well, I guess it's important that you have someone to look out for you, too. He says he's going to tell my dad. Really? Yep. And he'll go nuclear, and Melanie will be so disapproving. Well, I understand to a, an outsider this is all probably very strange. It's not, though, is it? No, I mean... We're both new to this, but we're both upfront about what we want from it. That's what I was saying to Alex. Things are going so well for you. It'd be a shame if things got complicated. This is the last thing I need right now. 
Maybe he won't say anything. I mean, it'd be pretty rough on Alex, too, when he's trying to study. It'll be a mega nightmare. I hope things don't get too heavy and throw you off course. You can call me, I mean, if you want. We should go. Stay for a while, if you want. Been with anyone since Robbie died? Yeah. I don't know why I said that. Is Robbie the love of your life? Is she the love of yours? Hardly comparable. Besides, I think you and I should keep any mention of Jer off limits. He was. Yeah. And I know he felt the same way about me. In case you're wondering, I haven't either. Since I became a priest. <laughs> I suppose that makes us quits. <laughs> yeah. I can't find me other shoe. What I said earlier. We all have things that we don't want to talk about, Liam. It's Nora. It's Nora. <clears throat> anyway, that'd be great if the funding came through. How are you, Nora? Sorry, am I disturbing you? No, we were just talking business. Oh, uh, I should go. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be here. No, sure, we're just finished. Just project stuff. Right. Okay then. Bye, Nora. All right, see you, Liam. Thanks. <clears throat> so, what is it you wanted? Oh, Jack forgot his football boots. I told him this morning I'd drop them down to the pitch. Uh, Ray's giving me a lift. He's outside. All right, OK. Um, yeah, I I'll go and get them. I think they're under the bed. They're probably full of muck. <laughs> What's this? Our new microwave. Whoa. Top of the range. Oh, fantastic. You'll love it. So P finally gave you the go-ahead? No. I just bought it. Yeah, but with his permission. I'm going to give him the bill. Yeah, but he knows. Sean, he's been saying he'll get one now, saved him the trouble. You can't do that. He has duties as a landlord. Let's plug it in. Make sure it works. No. Well, don't open it. Well, it's not going to heat up my dinner in the box. And what if Pete doesn't agree to pay for it? It's late now. Well, if he refuses, then you'll have to bring it back. It's here now, and it's staying. You should have talked to me before you bought it. You agreed this morning that we needed one. And what if he won't fork out? What, then what, are you going to sting me for half? No. He will pay, and you better not cave on this. Hang on now. We're not in this together. We're both going to use it. Yeah, that's not the point. Are you afraid of him, or what? If you go antagonise him, he's going to put the rent up. He can't. We signed a lease. We tell him before we use it. I'm set. No. Leave it in the box. Nope. We are not using until Peter Green. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Guys, enough. You're using up a lot of energy fighting about nothing. That kind of negativity clogs up the air. Yeah, I agree with her. Your problem is solved, and so is Pete's. I disagree. He's a landlord. He has to learn to negotiate. Enjoy your microwave. Be happy. Did you think about what I said? Yeah, I did. And? Tell him if you want. You don't mind? He'll go nuts. There'll be loads of rows that you and Melanie will have to put up with. Maybe because he shouldn't be doing it, Julia. I'm 18. I'm not going to stop whatever happens. So if you want to live in the house of gloom, go ahead. Tell him. I'll be moving out anyway. Where? To New York? As far away from you as possible. You're being really immature. Do you know that? Here's Don now. Up to you. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Can you believe that? What's wrong? 
You know, I've been pitching this job for days. And it's as good as sealed. The last minute someone undercuts me. That's awful, Da. No, spent ages getting that pitch together. What a downer. We could do something together tonight, the four of us. Actually, that's, that sounds great. I'll make a list and you can decide what we are going to do. Forget about work. Yeah, yeah you're right. That's very thoughtful of you. See you. Bye. I got your text. We just wanted to let you know that you can stop looking for a microwave. You're happy enough with the oven then? No. We got one ourselves. Save you the trouble. Really? Yeah, she's just there. Hundred and ninety-nine euro. Yeah, good value. You're having a laugh. We got twenty percent off. You pick up one for forty euro online. Uh, I don't think so. Second hand. I'm not eating someone else's germs. I know you're only doing this to mess with me. I'll have it sorted tomorrow, that's the promise. That receipt is real. It's not a joke, Pete. My is right there. Well, if it is, you may get it out of there and return it, because I'm not paying for something I didn't authorize. Yeah, you should be thanking us. And do I look thankful? We told you we needed one. Sure, it's in the list of stuff you agreed to provide. I just said you'll have it tomorrow. No, thanks. We like that one. I don't like the price. If you think about it, it's a good brand. So it's going to last for years. And what's next, Sean? If the fridge here packs in, do you just go out and buy a big American job and I'm supposed to foot the bill for that as well? well it's bought now, so it saves you the hassle of going out to source one. Yeah, so pay up. Oh, you can forget about it. Because I'm not paying a red cent to that. Look, Jack won his match. <laughs> Good for Jack. Seriously, where is Liam? I I'll go when he gets here. I want to be soon. I don't have all night. You sure you got the time right? Yes, Nora. Oh, here he is. You can take it up with him. I'm sorry. I have better things to do than lounge around waiting for you. I'm sorry. I got the lad. Hello? A text? I'm giving up my time for free here, so yeah, I'm annoyed. There was an emergency. One of the kids in the project. What happened? Oh, it's complicated. I'm worried. Are they all right? There's a problem. I'll have to head off for a few days. Me too. They saw things out. Did you tell Carol? Why would I? Well, because I asked her to drop in. What, here? Yeah. Look, I can't stay. Oh, surely you can wait till she arrives, can't you? You're going now. I'm sorry about this. Well, that's a bit sudden. Can you take care of things for a few days? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Call me if you need anything. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have attacked you like that. It's fine. I'll be in touch. Yeah, I hope the kid is okay. Guess you have to admire his commitment. Yep. Yeah. You do. Any response back from Marina's? You were right, she's tricky. But Liam reckons we can get him on board. You've spoken to Liam? Yeah. So where is he? If you're my girlfriend, we need to look convincing, right? Right. I mean, what if I put my arm around you or hold your hand? What has got into you? We have rights, Pete. And it's in the lease that you drew up. I had no problems from you until she moved in. 